Hi YouTube. I hope you're doing good. I am doing okay. Um, my video got kind of sabotaged the day before because um, I was waiting for Doug to get home to put stuff away and he didn't get home right away and I didn't want to be in the middle of things so I kept doing other things and then it got to be really late and it's like, yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> so anyway, otherwise I would have been on here. But um, uh, did you hear that... Um, Norway has joined the ever-growing list of lifting restrictions and um, that that's just um, they're lifting restrictions on the pandemic they said they said now um, this is their scientists you know so whoever says what I'm just reporting what I read um, that they're lifting the restrictions like several other um, countries and states because um, the pandemic is on the same level as any other flu. And that's, um, it can be verified. Look it up. I'm telling you the truth. So there's nothing misinformation here or nothing like that. So, um, you know, take it for what it's worth <laughs> or not, you know, I'm just telling you. thought that was pretty interesting, you know, so. Um, Doug's cat is doing a little bit better. It's been difficult, but he now he's uh, he gets a quarter of a pill for his thyroid and he takes it twice a day and we don't have to force it down him anymore. Doug just puts it in his mouth and he swallows it because he knows it's helping him. So, that's good. I kind of washed him off today. Um, his, his fur was falling out and everything. It was uh, part of the thyroid problem. But um, I took some warm water and A&D and a little bit of Jergens and mixed it in and wiped him down and rinsed it or got a clean clean rag and wiped him down again you know so um yeah that made him feel better so yeah poor little thing <laughs> so yeah i got a hold of the gal that was gonna help me with these stray cats and now all of a sudden it sounds like she's not going to help me and suggested I take like the mom to this one vet and I said I called that vet when my dog needed a tumor removed and he didn't even get back with me so then I didn't hear back from her when I told her that you know and it's like well you know and besides that um, yes I could do that but we just got through we can't afford it we had to put um, Doug's cats care on a charge card because we literally don't have that much money to take care of somebody else's kitties that they're not taking care of you know or the strays out there regardless you know so <clears throat> I was helping hoping to get some help in that area with them little ones but I don't know I don't know if it's gonna come true or yeah either way I guess so, but I don't know, it just kind of was bad. Somebody offers something and then they're like, oh yeah, but, um, but now I'm not going to or whatever, <laughs> you know, so I don't know. Little odd, you know, but that's probably best anyway. Maybe, maybe, you know, I mean, I'd like to see that the babies were fixed and even with Nellie, so she doesn't have any more babies, you know, but because literally right now it cost me about 30 bucks a month to feed these. Um, and that's not the gas to go and get the food either. And I think it's going to get worse because they're getting bigger. So, yeah, yikes. But, yeah. But I don't know, I don't really go anywhere and I don't 
you know, nothing, my hobbies don't cost me any money. So, um, I guess that's one, one good thing. You know, any, I don't really have extra money, but what I do put towards them, um, isn't taking away from our food, at least not at this point, you know. It did take away from our bills, though. Um, that was a tough one. We had to put a couple on hold, and we're hoping to sell some more of our stuff, so. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> what well, I guess whatever, whatever happens, happens, you know. Yeah. So, I know, um, it says in the scripture, you know, don't tell anybody when you're fasting. No, don't get out there and go, uh, oh, I, uh, you know, all that stuff, you know. But um, I get encouraged when I hear people tell me that they're doing that because um, I just do it. It does encourage me. So hopefully you would feel the same way. I'm in my second day. Tonight it'll be um, going into my third day. But I think I'm going to have something tonight because um, I went a couple nights without almost any sleep and my body will need the, the nutrients to um, motivate. So, yeah. So, coffee. I had some vitamins this morning and a half a glass of milk, but no solid food, so. Yeah, oh, about maybe, no, I'll about this much milk, so, yeah. So about a cup of milk, I guess, or a half a glass, yeah, about there, about. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it feels good. It feels good not to um, have solid stuff in you all the time, you know, at least for me, that's, that's how I feel. It's just beautiful here today. It's about 70 degrees, just really nice. And we're supposed to have the next few days are supposed to be really nice. So hopefully I can get out and do some more work out there for them. Um, it's pretty warm. It's not bad. So, yeah. They're, they're doing okay. <laughs> it's funny. Now all of them run up to the door with their mom because they know that when um, I feed them, I call Nellie's and even the one I call Yeti that isn't one of her babies, they all come to Nellie, you know, and then um, they run up on the steps and, um, well, this morning I put some uh, more food out there, but it had some cheese in there that I had given to Bob and he didn't eat it all. And so, like, a little treat. And then when her kids weren't looking a little while ago, I snuck her out some milk. And I gave her some milk and some treats yesterday, too, just for her, you know. Um, trying to heal up her leg. And, you know, well, I love her. She is such a sweet little girl. <laughs> just, just really adorable. And you'd think, too, you know, a wild kitty with a broken leg. And she had a hole under her... Um, chin and she had a hole in her arm with her bone sticking out and a few breaks like there and she that had to be painful and even her letting me wash it and care for it and then all that being a, a wild kitty that's incredible you know so that's how sweet she is just of course she was in pain and she wanted help too so that's you know something So yeah, I really, really do feel better today. Not, not eating um, too much, you know. Even, even the last few days, I had like um, salad and a cheese sandwich, but I had candy. And then um, I, I thought, and it was a big Heath bar. After that, I thought, okay, I ate the salad, I ate um, the cheese sandwich, and then. Um, instead of stopping at half the candy bar, I ate the whole thing. <laughs> That's when, where the fasting comes in, you know? So, yeah. 
Oh, I got a fly bug in me. You are going to die. I think it did. I hope it did. Yeah. Isn't that odd that they, I start talking and they, well, I had a couple lately that I've been chasing around the house. So, yeah. But I killed them. Um, one I had, I thought I had squished it. And when I went to, I was going to put it in the garbage, it flew away. Those, that might be that one coming back to bug me, you know. So, yeah. Oh, this is too hot. Gotta go. Was a little chilly, but, um, yeah. Not that much. Yeah. I, I think, you know, it's really weird. In the summer, when it gets cold, like, like today would be considered a little chilly for summer. Then you feel the chill. But it, or, or, you know, it's like warm. Or you can go sleeveless or whatever. And then in the winter, when it's like 30 below, even 70 some degrees seems chilly, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so, it's just weird. Like, 70 is okay right now. But if it would be like this in the winter time, I'd be freezing, you know. I think it's the um, snow, too. You know, the accumulation of the cold, coldness, the damp. You know, if it's damp and snowy, for sure, that hurts. At least to me it does. So, I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. Um. I don't know, not really a whole lot going on. Um, just reading on the internet what everybody's doing around the world. And, you know, uh, it's a sad day, really, when nurses and doctors are quitting before they're going to bow to this regime that other people in the world don't recognize that it's not... It, yes, it's about our rights, but it's also about not putting something in us that our bodies do not need. We have a natural immune system. Mine used to be wonderful till they they actually literally started doing things to attack me. Seriously, so excuse me a minute. Um, oh, well, I guess I'll find it later. Oh, well, but yeah, so I mean, it, it's um really weird, you know, I mean, it's, it's evil. There's nothing, nothing that's not evil about it when they, they aren't even listening to other medical professionals that have a voice that have studied microbiology. And I personally have, so if you want to try and discredit every medical professional out there claiming other science isn't science unless it's thoroughly studied, and you can never thoroughly study the human body that God made, you know? So I, I really don't grasp, well, yeah, that's bad, yeah, I grasp it, um, they don't grasp that people that believe in their immune systems aren't going to be pushed around. <clears throat> and there is way more of us. And it's time they start grasping that and start shutting down this bullshit regime that they have. Because um, people will rise and I don't think it's going to be pretty. You know, but then, too, the ones that are going to be doing the most destruction would be in the satanic mindset of, of well, you force me, I'm going to fight. You know, I would in my home, you know, but I mean to actually go out there and get all riled up or shout or scream or do that type of thing. Nah, you know, I've protested the war and homeless people and that um you know, that type of thing before. 
and uh, there there was no yelling or screaming or anything like that, you know. So and it brings to mind too, and I've mentioned it before, but I mean, yes, Black Life Matter, they do, but what about the Red Lifes? I mean, everybody is in the red man's country, but they try and say, oh, well, there was black Native Americans. No, no, there was Native Americans, and then the blacks came in and intermarried into different tribes, like the Blackfoot. And uh, um, uh, let me see, there's a Seminole Indian that is um, mixed in the southern states, I do believe, Florida. Um, and there was one other tribe that was out of like Mexico, not the pa Pablos, but another another nation that were um, interracial with um, black and red man. So um, they're still they're still lying, and they've always been lying. So. If anybody, if you walked into Mexico right now and said, I'm taking over your land and your country and I'm going to make you into somebody that you're not, um, would you ever be quiet about it? Well, when I didn't know I had that blood in me, I wasn't quiet about it on their behalf because that's the type of person I am. Really, way back in elementary school, I knew better. How can Columbus um, um, discover some place that was already here? You just don't discover some place that God made and put people. There was um, the different tribes of Israel were scattered around the world, and the ones they're trying to silence and shut up. Take a look at a look around and see the most depraved countries, and you'll probably find the closest blood to the to the beginning of the whole situation. So, yeah, like the Palestinians, for instance, being slaughtered by the Khazars that say they are Jews, you know. And they're the Bohemian, Russian, Slavic bloodline. It's the truth. And scholars like me that have been at this for decades, we didn't just read three, 4,000 books. We've let, read libraries full of books. Not just, I mean, I started early on my studies for this. Um, and there's a lot of scholars out there that, that well, okay, there's ones that have information that still are withholding the absolute truth about the Trinity for their own gains or maybe to keep their family together or whatever it would be because if they patronized if say if it was a woman from the Eastern Star and her husband was a believer in Christ and he patronized the true Trinity, which is the father, the mother, and the child, that would offend the witch that is trying to keep the Christ blood for her own on this for the next time her spirit comes around. That's what they all want, or they want him dead, or they want the female dead, and the men they don't care either way, just as long as they can get what they want, which is typically sex, typically. There's, or money, you know, but there's a lot of reasons why some people would keep the truth from others. And just when I thought I was gonna be able to say something nice about somebody like that, it's like, there you go again, say a little bit of truth, and then cover up the absolute truth with some bullshit. You know, it's just like this monarch butterfly programming that they've had that started in the 50s. And 
coming out of your cocoon and flying. I mean, these are just terms that Satan wants to use to be able to try and raise his spirit to ascend to heaven where he is never going to be again. He was kicked out, period. That's the end of that. He cannot ascend from this planet. So the people that we are helping literally right here, right now, are going to help humans ascend. Not demons. We, we don't help demons out here. That's not at all what I'm doing. I may relay a message, but I'm not uh, patronizing their ways or saying that, that this is approved in any, any respect and that they won't sh stand in shame and burn in the lake of fire forever because, yes, they will. With that humiliation, they will carry forever. And those are the ones that will seek death. That's the rest within Christ's kingdom that they'll never get again because they don't deserve it. You don't try and kill the Almighty. And yes, God does not need help. No, but he wants it. And you don't try and chuck my old man out the window and say, hey, it's going to be okay because everything will work out in the end. No, it doesn't work like that. There's laws in heaven and there's laws here too. And thou shall not kill. And lying, the greatest liar of all, people are believing. You know, I saw something really crude and I'm going to say it like it is. I, I really cannot stand human beings with all their flesh hanging out all over the place to me that is just i i don't know how men or women can even carry on a conversation with that shit hanging out all over there like that i go Psh, that's me <laughs> you know it's like wow that is so gross it is is it ugh, yuck may the lord of penises shine upon you <laughs> dear crown my tits here they are for the world to see wow man that's some shit but back to that monarch programming um be careful what you hear and be careful of uh people mixing the rise of the antichrist with the rise of human beings ascending because it is not the same thing. These monsters have risen in our time on our planet and have greater influence than you or I with the word of God in our hearts. So, and that's obvious. So that's just my opinion. Take it or leave it. I'm just, but I, I would hope that anybody I would follow would kind of put a disclaimer on it for people like me. Hey, you are not going to want to see this. I've seen this shit all my life. What do I want to see more of it for? I'm out here telling people to grow the hell up. Keep your keep your sexual appendages, your your extremities, your your um, protuberances inside your clothing. That's why we have clothes, you know, unless you enjoy that type of thing. And then I'm going to have to really decipher for myself who I do and do not want to watch because I really hate surprises, man. I do. Not into them at all. I mean, if I knew I was going to meet somebody that I've known or something, and they were kind of scuzzy in their life. Well, then I'd probably expect that type of thing. But I don't know. That's my opinion. I don't overlook things like that too easily because uh, it's not. Yeah, there I go judging, but it's not proper. We clothe ourselves for the eyes of God and for each other. And I'm just saying it. That's it. So if you want to call me judgmental, fuck you. For real. You, that's what you deserve to be. Because then you don't know what true love is all about. Because true 
love would would not display itself like that. And I don't want any friends in my life that do. I don't want that trash. It's trashy. It's the truth. Button her up. Say something. Put me on a video. I'll tell them. Hey, girls. Zip that shit up. What the hell are you doing? Guys, keep that junk in your pants. You don't want to see that hanging out all over the place either. And if you think that you're more than one sex, I, I just can only tell you that Satan's very pleased with you. Keep up the good work. As far as what Lucifer is, Lucifer made himself on this planet and tried to mix in with human beings, male and female, together in their minds to hide from God. And it didn't work. That's what that's all about. Has nothing to do with the, the mixture of man and woman together at all. So, but people will see. They'll get it eventually. There is no thing like that. Very, very rarely, like, um, probably. I would say it's probably close to about maybe one in a million and out of the millions of people in the world that's really not a high percent but I could look into it further but I'm just telling you it's not a natural thing you know and uh, the men that I have met that are like that have no regard for women and children and they display that like that. That's how they do that towards us. And we're fully aware of it. The only ones they're fooling, tricking, is the other men. Because a real woman's going to look at that and go like, oh yeah, I see you. Woman hater. The He-Man Woman Haters Club. So, that's what that is. Well... I guess I've spotted enough, but like I said, that's how I feel about all that. And if people don't have dignity, I mean, it's not something that if, if you're scuzzy, you don't grow out of it. I mean, you may, maybe, maybe God can touch their hearts. But from what I can tell, when you're a half growing like or half dead human being and you're still dressing like a teenager might even some teens have more brains than that but i had a mother that wanted me to dress provocative and i refused to do it so when you have adults acting like that you know what side they're on just by looking at them that's obvious you know it is so don't don't think any different on that note because I just told you some truth right there so all right everybody I'm gonna upload this peace and love from Pine City Minnesota USA thank you for joining me peace I'll be back